Hello, my name is Andrew with Reading for Heroes. Today I'll be running for Fallen Deputy Sheriff Ty Michael Brown from Crisp County Sheriff's Office. On Wednesday, July 5th, 2023, Deputy Brown was shot and killed while stopping a stolen vehicle. He was a U.S. military veteran and served with the Crisp County Sheriff's Office for 10 months. He is survived by his parents and grandparents. Before I begin, I would like to give a silent prayer.
Deputy Sheriff Ty Brown was shot and killed at about 3.40 a.m. on July 5th, 2023, after stopping a stolen vehicle in the 1300 block of Highway 280 in Cordelli, Georgia. The subject shot Deputy Brown during the traffic stop and then stole his patrol car. Other deputies pursued the vehicle through multiple counties before the man was taken into custody. Deputy Brown was transported to the Crest Regional Hospital where he succumbed to his wound. The subject was charged with malice murder, felony murder, two counts of aggravated assault, theft by receiving stolen property, carjacking, three counts of possession of a firearm by a convicted felon, three counts of possession of a firearm during the commission of a crime, and two counts of theft by taking. Deputy Brown was a U.S. military veteran and had served with the, U with the Crisp County Sheriff's Office in Georgia for 10 months. He is survived by his parents and grandparents. Deputy Sheriff Ty Brown was shot and killed at or about 3.40 a.m. on July 5th after stopping a stolen vehicle in a 1300 block of Highway 280 in Cordelli, Georgia. The subject shot Deputy Brown during the traffic stop and then stole his patrol car. Other deputies pursued the vehicle through multiple counties before the man was taken into custody. Deputy Brown was transported to the Chris Regional Hospital where he succumbed to his wounds. The subject was charged with malice murder, felony murder, two counts of aggravated assault, theft by receiving stolen property, carjacking, three counts of possession of a firearm by a convicted felon, three counts of possession of a firearm during the commission of a crime, and two counts of theft by taking. Deputy Brown was a, mili a U.S. military veteran and had served with the Crest County Sheriff's Office in Georgia for 10 months. He is survived by his parents and grandparents. Deputy Sheriff Ty Brown was shot and killed at or around 3.40 a.m. on July 5th, 2023, after stopping a stolen vehicle in the 1300 block of Highway 280 in Cordelli, Georgia. The subject shot Deputy Brown during the traffic stop and then stole his patrol car. Other deputies pursued the vehicle through multiple counties before the man was taken into custody. Deputy Brown was transported to the Crest Regional Hospital where he succumbed to his wounds. The subject was charged with malice murder, felony murder, two counts of aggravated assault, theft by receiving stolen property, carjacking, three counts of possession of a firearm by a convicted felon, the commission, during the commission of a crime and two counts of theft by taking. Deputy Brown was a U.S. military veteran and had served with the Crisp County Sheriff's Office in Georgia for 10 months. He is survived by his parents and grandparents. Today I'm in for fun. Deputy Deputy Sheriff Ty Michael Brown from Crisp County Sheriff's Office. On Wednesday, July 5th, 2023, Deputy Brown was shot and killed while stopping a stolen vehicle. He was a U.S. military veteran and served and served with the Crisp County Sheriff's Office for 10 months. He, he is survived by his parents and grandparents. This flag I carry will be given to the family along with a personal letter, challenge coin, and decal. 
Next, I would like to say a prayer for Deputy Brown, his family, and his police department. Then, I would like to remain silent for 21 seconds and stand for 21 guns. Father God, I want you to bless this day today. I want you to bless this run for Deputy Brown, his family, and his police department. I want to bless Deputy Brown for being there for others and stopping that stolen vehicle. As the law says, you cannot steal vehicles and you risk his life doing it. I want you to bless his family, taking care of Deputy Brown and feeding him, treating him well, and covering over him. I want you to bless this department for training him for being such a great deputy and sheriff. And I want you to bless the police department for risking their lives for others. In Jesus' name we say, amen.